getting my life together. I put the sponges and scrubs in here. We're on a roll today. Oh my gosh. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be basically getting my life together. I decided to channel my inner Mary Kondo the last few days and just declutter, organize, and just clean up my space a little, you know? So I originally started with my closet. I completely decluttered my closet. I made a donation pile. I made a pile of things that I'm gonna sell on Poshmark. I color coordinated. I basically did the whole nine. And the footage is nowhere to be found. I don't know what happened to it. I most likely deleted it by accident because I remember recently I was getting rid of some footage on my computer and I can't find the footage of me organizing my closet. And that was like a big part of today's video, decluttering and all that, but can't be found. So I'm just gonna show you guys what my closet looks like now. After the declutter, I did do a full TikTok on it. So I will leave the link to the TikTok down there if you really wanna see like my system and basically like how it went. But but basically a few rules that I had when I, de when I was decluttering the closet was if I haven't worn it in the last year, it either needs to be donated or needs to be sold because if I haven't reached for it, it's for a reason and I'm probably not likely not gonna reach for it this year, so. That helped me a lot because there was a lot of items that I was holding on to that just didn't belong there. Like, it was time. It was time to let it go. So I did that. I also wanted to get rid of a lot of clothes that was very outworn. Like, I had a ton of, like, sweatpants that they were just very dingy and, mm, you know, you know, you know those sweatpants that are just hanging on for dear life. I had to get rid of those. And just basically those are my two main rules. And it really helped declutter my space a lot. So let me show you guys how my closet is looking. Here she is. I have all of my long shirts here. And I semi-color coordinated it. Like I put the whites and then beiges and then grays and darks. And then I put all of my short sleeve shirts here or my sleeves of shirts. And then and all of my sweatshirts here and my scarves. And here I have all of my pants. I had to get rid of so many pants because there was just so many that I just was not using anymore. And then my shoes I also decluttered and I put them in these um, bins that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Very affordable. They're very flimsy, honestly, but it's just more so for organization, not really like for protection, more so just to keep them organized. And then over here I have all of my crop jackets, blazers, and yeah, that's basically everything that I have here, my vests. And then I even organized my drawers, so my sweatpants, my workout clothes, everything is nice and organized and I decluttered all of it it was great it was a great time so sad you guys missed it but i will definitely be more cautious with my footage next time so yeah that was supposed to be the beginning of the vlog but again can't find the footage so we're just gonna have to move on <laughs> i'm gonna move on to show you guys how i organize the kitchen and yeah we're gonna take it from there i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope that you guys are having a great year is it still new year's i mean it's just the beginning of february so i feel like it's still considered the new year um so I'm gonna keep wishing you a great year because I feel like we're still getting started. We're still getting the wheels rolling in this new year. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's move on to the kitchen organization. day two of decluttering and getting my life together and organizing our home i'm gonna be tackling the kitchen today because the kitchen like most of the parts of the house is a hot mess so i got some things that i think is going to help with organizing the spice cabinets um the pots and pans are a mess i got some things for that and then under the kitchen ow <laughs> under the kitchen where i keep all of the um cleaning supplies is also kind of you know i need some help so let me show you guys what i got and all of these things are from amazon amazon came in so clutch with organization and i feel like it's such an affordable price because other stores like the container store and um bed bath and beyond they have great things but they're very expensive so i feel like these were all at a really good price point so first up are these spice containers that i grabbed this came in a pack of 24 um, and I am gonna go ahead and move all of my spices into here and then label them And then I got these acrylic organizers for the drawers I have some of these already and I have spice containers that I already organized and redid but The original acrylic trays that I got were not the correct size for the drawer because our drawers are really like Awkward shape. They're very narrow, but I think these will fit. So I grabbed 
two of these in case I need to do two different drawers because, um, again, the drawers are pretty small. And it comes with this really cute collapsible funnel so I can put all the spices in there without like making a huge mess. I also got these glass spray bottles to move some of my um, cleaning products into these. After the spice drawer, this is what I'm most excited about because our pots and pans are such a mess. Like, I feel like it also like scratches up the pots and pans when it's not like displayed well. So I'm excited to use this. It's just a pan and pot organizer that I'm gonna put um, in one of our drawers and hopefully it fits. I also got this bag dispenser, which I am so excited to use because let me show you guys how we currently have our bags displayed. Oh my gosh, this is our bags, guys. It's literally just all stuffed in there and it's just not practical. So I'm ready to get rid of this mess and then I could probably use this for something else because the bag dispenser that I bought is actually supposed to be attached to um, a cabinet door so it helps save even more space and then I could probably use this for something else. This is the current spice drawer situation. As you can see some of them are organized. Um, these are actually from, I can't remember where these are from but I'll link them down below. And then I also ordered these um, labels on Etsy but like I have a ton that don't have their own place and also it's just not practical because I feel like since these acrylic uh, trays didn't fit well here then I'm missing out on all this space that I could be using for them. This is like our second drawer for spices. Again there's like no system. Everything is just stuffed in there and sometimes it's like hard to know what I even have because like I have to like move things out the way to see like what this spice back there is or same up here i have to move things out of the way so it's just not practical we're gonna try to tackle this and then under the sink we tried to do some organization like i put this like two-tier um drawer thingy but i might actually keep that still i just feel like we're not using it like everything is not on that system so i'm gonna see how i can organize that but I'm so excited to get this done. I feel like it is so long overdue. And um, while I'm doing that, I'm also going to clean as well because cleaning and organizing at the same time, it's just like killing two birds with one stone. So I'm so excited. Let's get started. This like organization is like makes my heart so happy. This looks so good. I'm so happy. I did the first drawer and I have more left over to do the second drawer, but I don't have any more labels. So I need to go print some more labels or order some, but I think I'm going to print some because I need more customized ones because everything that's in here needs its own place. I need a parsley one, but then I also have like very not unique because I feel like everybody uses these, but I just don't think that these types of labels like for Sasson, for example, would come in a pack like if I ordered them on Etsy. So I'm just gonna find a way to do it myself. I have Montreal steak, like I need to figure out everything but the elote seasoning. So I have enough um, spice jars to put all of these in, but I just don't have labels. So I'm gonna save this for another day when I 
print out the labels, which will probably be like in the next few days. And then once we clear this out, then I can use this for something else. I think I'm gonna use this for Tupperware because our Tupperware drawer is just not the best right now either. And I think I'm gonna tackle this next. So this is where we have all of our pots and pans. I do feel like I want some more organization. I wanna keep all the lids together, all the pots together. So I'm gonna use this organizer that I got from Amazon. I don't know which method I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do this one because we're working with a little bit of a, a limited like height space. So I think I'm gonna do this one and this should be good to fit our pots in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Cooking is gonna be so much more satisfying when everything is like, has its own place. This, this is so much better. It gave us so much more space and I feel like this overall, just less clutter. I'm These little wire thingies are a little flimsy. Like as you can see, this one's like a little crooked. Um, but for the most part, like it's definitely a lot better than what we had. Um, it wasn't able to fit all of our pots. I had to put this one here and then another one over there. But for the most part, definitely a game changer. And then down here, I just have our glass bowls. And then all of our like serving utensils that we use for events or our grill utensils like these guys and i just put this them in this like bowl that i got from walmart a while ago and then we have our cast iron then we have our cast iron skillets on here so this cabinet is all done and i'm feeling so good about it i feel like cooking is going to be so much easier now and i'm actually really excited to cook dinner tonight <laughs> to put into use our new practical system now i'm going to we're on a roll today now i'm going to tackle under the sink because not that it's a mess as you guys saw it's not like super bad but i just feel like it can be better so i'm gonna tackle that now okay so step number one i took everything out and i just vacuumed and dusted and and wiped in there so that's nice and clean i think i'm gonna keep this thing in here because are you good carla i think i'm gonna keep this thing in here because it's pretty practical in the sense of like we don't have a lot of space to work with because of all of these tubes but the way that we set up this two-tier like organizer it's as you can see like it we built it around the tube so i feel like i can work with this um but i took everything out and here's here's everything that was in there so basically what i'm going to do now is i'm going to find a place for everything for example these dishwasher pods i think i'm going to put them in one of these containers and then i also have my glass um spray bottles that i can put all of my sprayed liquids in that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to organize all of this into try to make it look a little bit more minimal. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that get really thrown off by color, especially like in spaces that I want them to be organized. I want everything to be like minimal, sleek, the less color, the better. So like all of this, I'm just like, we need to, we need to get rid of it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I think I have a space for everything, but we shall see. product i love it i love how you could see everything and everything is like clearly labeled so we have our disinfecting wipes i just took off the wrapper on it because you know the wrapper had a lot of color so this will make it a lot more minimal back there i have like three different cleaning products that i don't really use often so i just kind of hit it back there um i put the sponges and scrubs in here the dusters back here these are like extra dusters for a little dust pan that we have 
microfiber cloths back there. Our dishwasher pods are in here. And then I moved a majority of the liquid cleaning products in the glass um, spray bottles. And then for the liquid soap, I just kind of took off the wrapper that was on it. And then I just put this label. And then trash bags are hidden back there. And I have my little scrub mommy there. I didn't really find a place for her. But here it is. Nice and organized. Nice and labeled. Clean, minimal, decluttered. Thank God it looks so good. Today I'm in the bathroom and we have a little bit to declutter, not too much. It's not too crazy in here because I decluttered this like a few months ago, but it's still, you know, things just pile up and pile up. So I just need to get rid of some things that I don't use and also that has expired. But I'm going to start with the closet. This is what the closet's looking like. It's not too crazy, but I just want to do a little bit of things to just make it look a little bit more organized. So... I got, well, first of all, this is my inspo. How beautiful does this bathroom look? This actually inspired my entire decluttering. It's this book called Beautifully Organized from Nikki Boyd. And it literally tells you how to organize every part of your house. And it's just a very helpful tool. And also helps you with knowing, like, how to keep your house decluttered. Like, doing monthly or weekly check-ins to see, you know what needs to go what needs to stay so this is kind of the inspo behind all my decluttering but i did get these boxes from amazon they're these black boxes nothing fancy literally just a box um it's like kind of like a cubby but it fits a lot in here but i'm gonna use this to store away some of the items that i don't use on a daily for example down here i have all this sun care stuff um, but i don't use this for a good part of the year so i feel like putting it in a black cubby where you can't see it and it's just labeled will just help space look more organized and more neat so i'm basically going to do that and also get rid of a lot of things that i don't use like in here i have tons of things that are either empty like this i need to say goodbye because it doesn't even you hear that it's just air <laughs> so things like this just kind of get rid of stuff that i do not use and um yeah let's tackle this closet can't really see much that was my goal i just wanted to have out like the necessities so up here in the packing supplies box i put everything that we use for travel like our travel containers anything that's travel sized and my toiletry bags it definitely helped clear up a lot of space and then i decluttered all of my like body products that i didn't use before because i had a ton in here that i just didn't use and then over here i just have some miscellaneous things our perfumes are out here displayed in here i have all of my hair tools and my like hair accessories some extra towels in here i have i put all of our candles in here um we had, we had a bunch of random candles and then also i put some leftover cotton rounds i didn't have a tag for sun care i thought i did but i didn't so i just put miscellaneous for this but it's basically all our sun care products and then also some like extra things like um extra face wash extra body wash and then down here i put you know my feminine products eric's random face tool and then scale and this bath tray i'm feeling very happy with how it turned out everything looks like it has its own place and it's definitely a lot more organized and less like cluttered. It looks very clean, just how I wanted it. 